So how do you learn 10 times faster? How do you develop 10 times faster on this instrument? Yeah, sure thing, Klaus. You know how. You got the secret. Right? But I do. I'm sorry. And you're going to agree with me once this video is over that, oh, I can learn 10 times faster. But there's, a, uh, there's an obstacle to that, and it's this. Uh, because it, most of the time, it does the, right, uh, the wrong thing the brain. It, it comes up with the wrong or the most ineffective strategies or even destructive strategies because you weren't born to play a guitar. You might feel that way, but your brain is born to throw spears and collect berries and go to war, right? And wear fur and live in cage, cages in nature. That's what you're born for, right? So when you take up a delicate instrument like that, the, 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 the caveman or woman is going to do the wrong thing, right? Um, but so what's the, how can you develop 10 times faster? And it's not easy. It's easy if you didn't have the brain you have, but you simply, you build from the inside out. I have a new program out right now uh, on string skipping uh, stuff. And we talk about the power lake philosophy, which is you either grow like mold on an apple, right? You rot or you grow like a tree. And the tree thing, people mostly grow like mold on an apple or a whatever, right? They are, they're rotting, basically. That's why they stagnate at some point. So they, they start with a fresh fruit. That's with you when you pick up your guitar. And then you basically rot as you seem to develop. And then you get stuck at the, me the mediocre, the intermediate level. Sorry. <laughs> That's just how it is. And then you have that apple. It doesn't do anything anymore. It's just that dry piece of fruit. It doesn't even smell anymore. It's just like a mummified fruit. That's us when we're stuck at the intermediate level. So how do you grow like a tree? Ten times the speed. Because, you know, right, the rotting apple. And Well, you, if you look at a tree, basically what happens is that you have the tree trunk that has these branches out, right? But if you you know, break off one of the branches and you look at that and hold it upright, you'll see that it has a trunk and it has branches out of it, right? So you take the branch off the branch and you look at that. You see that it has a thin trunk and it has little pitsy branches of it, right? If you take the leaf even, the last piece of the tree, you'll see if you hold it up like that, that it has a middle line and it has nothing like that. That's what we call a fractal. And basically what that is, is building on something you know already is expanding something that is already there. So if we, every single time we learn something, if we were to ask ourselves, how can I use this in a different way, and then a different way, and a different way, right? And then we expanded on it. So instead of learning something new, like mold, it grows on an apple, like you get a spot right there, then you get a spot right there, and a spot here, and there, and there, that's mold, right? Where a tree, it grows from the inside out, adding new layers to the same all the time, right? So if you could do that, let's say you learned a lick like, right? And then you become really good at that, right? You played it like a thousand times every day, right? Just that little thing, that's over and over again, and you just, just endure. You put on a jam track, right? You practice it with the metronome, right? And then the first thing you do is, how can I use this in another context? Well, you can move it to another string, right? That's just moving it to, to the sixth of the Dorian in the same first position minor pentatonic, right? And, and then, oh, fourth tuning, forgot about that. So I, I, right? And then you do it in another place, right? I can use it on the top string as well. If I, you know, hit the ninth, bend that up, and then slide up. So I change it just a little bit. Just imagine that you kept developing this little piece here. You kept adding another note to it. Okay, cool thing. Do that a thousand times. Okay, next, next little thing. Right. Oh. Right. And then you just keep on going like that. This was pretty rapidly, but just imagine you develop, you, you add another note, you add another note, you use it in a different context, you keep working that same thing, you build on it. Like, and after, uh, you know, six months or a year, you, you, you got what you want, right? You can do soloing on a scary level. 
while all the other people over here, the moldy people, right, the, the, the rotting apples, they just kept going, nah, I should practice a little of that, and then I should definitely practice some scales, right? I should definitely practice the, the Dorian and the natural minor, and I should definitely practice some arpeggios, and all peace to that, right? But they, that's what they do, so they have a little spot there and develop a little bit there and there and there, right? And they don't really achieve anything really like something concentrated, like like the juice of a fruit that just you boil it in and then it's wow, right? It's like when you do that, <laughs> when you develop the same thing, you kind of put more and more energy into the same nucleus, right? So it becomes that atomic power, right? So when you get on stage after 12 months of practicing, Right? You might not be able to play flamenco or play you know, a gazillion chords or master a gazillion scales, but you develop the same thing. Right? You do a pinch harmonic and you do it over and over again, adding a note, taking a note away, you know, like, like, and then suddenly you will see a guy, a woman, a man, where everyone is going to point to that individual and say, oh, wow, isn't he or she talented? Right? That's, gonna, that's what happens. And all the other people, oh, those are apparently the untalented because they grow like mold instead of like a tree from the inside out, always adding to the same point like that. Right? Does this make sense or not? I hope it does because it is the way. But your main enemy of this whole concept is that your brain is going to try and keep you from doing that. This It's not a coincidence that 99.99999% of people as I have a tendency of saying of most things, do the wrong thing. Because why? Because we get bored. We can, I don't want to play the same thing. I don't want to add to the same thing. What else is new over there? Oh, there's that guy. There's that lick. There's that, I want to play that song, then this song, right? So we kind of, it's like buying stuff. You know, we, we got a whole house crammed with crap, right? Just like a, we, we're hoarders, basically, as guitar players. We hoard little, little licks over here. And what do we got to show for it? Right? Just a house crammed with little unfinished stuff that we can't really use for anything on a professional level. I know this makes sense to you. And it's not you, it's just everyone. So, so when it comes to guitar practicing, doing the right thing, the most productive thing, is really a matter of working against your intuitive inclinations to do something that is just totally unproductive. Or, at, you know, that's at best, right? At worst, you're actually practicing your way away from what you want to learn because you're just doing what the brain would naturally do when it wants to learn how to throw spears or run very fast, right? Push for it, right? And so it gets bored all the time as well. But if you know, if you really know how effective this is and you see the value of it, then what you want to do is you want to divert your focus away from that new thing and then remember, but wow, if I keep working on this, I keep expanding that, then I'm just going to be a total pro. I'm just going to be like crazy, right? Uh, you, know, you know, 10 times faster. Or I wouldn't even say 10 times faster. You're going to be a pro. And almost all of, you know, people who don't work against their natural inclinations are, not, are going to just be stuck intermediate. Those are all the mummified apples. Sorry for the graphic image. So be a tree, right? Don't leave, but be a tree. My name is Klaus Levine from guitarmastery.net. Uh, go download the free course, drop a comment, and I hope to see you in the next video.